Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Wana Shikim Binti Wang Ambran and right now I will explain to you guys a little bit of history radio in Malaysia. Malaysia was one of the earliest British colonies to operate a radio broadcasting service. However, the British government did not show interest in radio in its early stage of development. In 1921, Al Birch, the chief electrical engineer of the Johor state government, experimented with Peto's cord type of wireless set obtained from overseas. The first radio station was established in Kuala Lumpur. It was the upcountry gathering point for rubber estate workers and tin mines and also capital of the Federated Malay States. In 1931, the Kuala Lumpur Amateur Radio Society, KLARS, acquired its own transmitter, a crystal control Malkani S3A, through government channel and began using it in May 1931. In 1946, RTM starts broadcasting radio. The first two radio stations are Radio Malaya, Malay and Blue Network English, located it first in Singapore and later moving to Kuala Lumpur in 1950. That's all for History Radio in Malaysia. Hi, it's me again. So right now I'm going to talk about background of the company. My group and I choose Fly FM radio station because Fly FM is the second most popular English radio station in Malaysia. Fly FM is an English language Malaysian private radio station owned by Media Prima Berhad. It was launched on 3 October 2005 and target listeners are aged between 15 and 30 years old. The music on Fly FM is aired in both English and Malay. This station used to broadcast live from KLIA and is, and is the first radio station in the world to be situated in an airport. The station was initially launched by Jason Cotton and the popular DJ Fly Guy, Safian Mokta, as its public face. Together with Fat Face, they hosted their morning show called the Pagi Show. However, within the first year, he replaced himself with Ben, Loh Ben Jen. Soon Nadia was added as the third host of the show. Fly FM is tuned in by thousands of listeners each day. When Fly FM started, it was the first radio station among its early success include the 50 minutes of non-stop music, which was very popular among the listeners. Thank you, that's all for me. Assalamualaikum. So today I will be presenting about trend and challenge uh, in radio station which is Fly FM. As we all know, Fly FM is a radio station that focusing on uh, urban listeners with age range between 15 to 35 years old and 5FM is the second most popular English radio in Malaysia and as we all know that 5FM has been awarded as the fastest growing radio station in this country since the language that they bring is not only English but also in Malay. 5FM also found as a company which provides uh, such entertainment to attract its listeners among youngsters. Society nowadays tend to depend on things that entertain them, which close and relate to them. Apart from that, youngsters will find a source of information through the language that they feel closer to them in order to digest the information. As for that, Fly FM uh, has become a trend to that community. While talking about trend, uh, they reach the most trending uh, among its targeted audience which include positive and negative side. For instance, most of the time, uh, positive content consists of humor, funny and some general knowledge about the current issue. For negative content, it includes, uh, sh includes uh, shaming other people, uh, the funny parody of public figures who have gone viral towards their action and some false rumors that they have uh, spread to the community. Uh, Fly FM also part of uh, working in fast-paced media. They also uh, face some challenge which are keeping up to date with the public interest. This takes try and error for the company to fully understand um, the public interest. As for that, 
one of the way to spark the youngsters interest is by aiming the viral update from the Instagram Twitter and some internet some international celebrities um, trendy content for instance about Awek Chendol which has been viral few months ago and they had made it as a parody for kind of funny content to entertain people other than that they also update about Justin Bieber who has announced about his marriage and this these are the efforts that they need to put for public interest in order to make them uh, feel closer to Fly FM from time to time. Other than that, Fly FM also found other radio station as a competitor for them. Uh, as we all know, Fly FM is a radio station which is owned by Media Prima, Berhad, and the company at we all know, Fly FM is a radio station which is owned by Media Prima Berhad and the company admit they had to compete with other radio stations such as Era FM, Hits FM, uh, Sinar FM which owned by Astro. Since those radio stations also gain the listeners among the youngsters, they need to provide uh, and gain listeners among them and very and be very particular in choosing content to avoid comp uh, impersonalization. I mean, Fly FM had an experience where one of the segment, which is Carpy Call, has been claimed uh, as it was similar with Hits FM segment, which is Gotcha. Even though they had justified the issue, but then people seem bored when all the radio station are making the same pattern of segments on attracting their audience. Other than that, audience prefer other music platform such as Jokes, Spotify and Apple Music uh, to hear music which is more convenient these days. Fly FM uh, company admit that those other music platform these days has been one of the biggest challenge in order for the company to maintain the rating of its listeners. They also stated that the highest rate is Spotify and Apple Music uh, to hear music which is more convenient these days. Fly FM uh, company admit that those other music platforms these days has been one of the biggest challenge in order for the company to maintain the rating of its listeners. They also stated that the highest rating they used to receive was around 2010 and by mean before the trend of music platform such as Joke, Spotify and whatnot come to the um, our era. However, they still believe that the radio are come from people who are listening radio while driving. This is because radio being the convenient one when it comes to entertainment while driving to avoid bored uh, while having a traffic jam. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Isabana Jamashri. So, I'm going to explain to you about the development of radio in Malaysia and especially in 5M. So, the first one, let's get back to our purpose, main purpose of radio. So, the, the main purpose of radio is to convey information from one place to another through the intervening media such as air, space, non-conductive materials without barriers. Besides being used for transmitting sound and television signals, radio is used for the transmission of data in coded form. So, as we can see that, the technology took control of, over almost everything in our life. So, it's also affect few companies, traditional companies, let me see, such as radio, magazine, and newspaper. So for now, so I'm gonna talk about radio. So in order for them to survive in this technology era, so they need to variety their own platform, their own uh, ways to gain audience and attract audience to listen to them. So the development that I can see in radio, radio in Malaysia right now is like, they they do lots of um, they do lots of development 
in segment conducting lots of segment um what else um connecting lots of variety i mean collaboration with celebrities uh collaborating with uh, other companies uh they also add on advertisement in their in their radio station yeah just to gain some cash I and mean money i mean for economic purpose because nowadays it's a lot of money okay so so uh let's talk about 5m so as we know that oh, okay not all of us know that 5m is the world first radio ever established in edward so it is established in kelly airport our international airport so so this 5m has been listened by like thousands and millions of people around the world who have been landed on our Kelly airport so in this because of this rapid um rating uh, listeners around the world and they give a lot of good feedback so 5m need to step up their game in order to survive in this era for the first one is I can see is they they move their place uh, in Seri Pantas, Petani Jaya because as we know that they have like lots of um, so they need to travel to lots of people or locations I mean to promote their own their own um, radio stations like Jelajah Era, Jelajah 5M um yeah 5m troopers of course uh, not now so they deliver that one i mean to attract people to get in touch with people uh face to face to get to know the 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 audience and what the audience like and what the audience not like and obviously what i can see from 5m is like they do they do have advertisement but it's not that much like others radio stations which is i like it because i'm listening to a radio station because I, I love the entertainment i love i want i live in it i want to listen to a music instead of advertisement and also i like how the 5m step of the game in um conducting the new segments for for before this they have like um morning crew but right now they have morning crew plus crappy call so crappy call is like they pranking uh, someone, I mean the audience, someone requesting to them to pranking their friends, their loved ones, their family and I find it's like very interesting because it's like to light up my mood in the morning sometimes I get gloomy, well, I get muddy blues and whatnot so it's, I think it's a good thing to do because it can light up people in the morning and it's very very, um, how to say, strategic no, it's very, uh, it's very suitable for us uh, to do it in the morning because can I got up my mood and others mood and everyone moods. Okay, so it's a good thing. So the one is the major, major, major development of five M, which is I have two. The first one is locations, which is they establish in Kila A, but now they are moved to Srikantas. And the second one is the segment before this they have morning crew but right now they have morning crew plus critical all right assalamualaikum to my beloved lecturer nina my name is Moshida binti muhammad idris so today i would like to represent to you my part in our assignment which is reporting and scope for radio reporting is the art of news collection and filling dispatches to the news room for suitable consumption in radio, a reporter has got to be extra quick and accurate. The reporter has to keep his ears to the ground for possible wrong bits. There are many errors which sometimes, without much of a warning, may produce headlines news. A lot of skill and craftsmanship is needed to cover political events while the economic front is quite less hazardous. A radio news story is written for the ear, it is not meant for reading. A radio story is also not for any particular segment 
of the society. It is neither targeted for any special ethnic group nor is limited to any geographical boundary. Its drafting is therefore more ticklish than the print or visual media. The most important stylistic principle in radio news writing is simplicity. If the language is too complex, it is possible that the story will not be completely understood by the audience. The radio listener cannot retrieve lost information by reading a sentence or story. If the story is not understood the first time around, it will be lost to the listener forever. Radio news writers generally apply a few rules of their own to help them get information across in the best, simplest form. To keep the sentence short, avoid complex sentences or construction and use basic words. Radio news writers generally apply a few rules of their own to help them get information across in the best, like the simplest form. To keep the sentence short, avoid complexion, and use basic words, not colloquialism. That's all from me. Thank you. Have a nice day. To give a summarize about our research, so basically, uh, radio is the broadcasting of programs for the public to listen to um, by sending out signal from a transmitter. Uh, so basically, radio nowadays are one of the important platform for the public uh, to gain uh, new information. So as a conclusion, uh, we learn so many things uh, about radio station as well as uh, some of the strategy in maintaining uh, their radio station in this era. Uh, as we know, uh, nowadays, as the radio are one of the platform to attract people to listen to them, uh, they need to provide uh, an entertainment and also an interesting news to attract people. Um, such as in Fly FM, there are segments where people can give out their opinion in any is issue that they wanted. So this make uh, Fly FM as a platform for the public to voice out their opinion. However, in this research also, we tend to get to know what are the hardship that all the radio station face uh, in Malaysia. Such as, uh, as we know, there are so many uh, radio station in Malaysia, and the competition among all of them are challenging but it is an, in a healthy way. Um, radio station will remain as one of the influential medium for now and hopefully uh, this platform will improve in so much positive way in the future. Thank you.